hello everyone now uh, we will be starting with the second experiment of pscat that is transmission line modeling in pscat so in this experiment we are going to learn about modeling of tra various transmission lines that are present in pscat like uh, basically in pscat we have two types of uh, representation of transmission lines one is pi section and another is a district uh, a distributed model uh, that is available in PSCAD, uh, and there are two types like virgin and frequency dependent. So, uh, like we'll be learning uh, what are the steps to be followed for modeling a transmission line to be used in PSCAD project. Now, going to the PSCAD window, here uh, this is the first exp uh, activity that you, uh, you are going to do. So, first, you just uh, right click on the project window. Click on the component wizard. Uh, let yeah, here you can see that uh, a component wizard window appears over here. So click on the transmission segments. You will find the untitled transmission line. Click on that. You will find like you have to name the transmission line. Let's say I am naming the transmission line as T line. Okay. So just press here. Okay, the, uh, now the transmission line is named as T line. Then right click, finalize, and create. Then this will be available on the project window. You just have a single click on any uh, part of the project window and this will be placed. Okay. Now, since I already have a transmission line, I am not going to use this transmission line. I am just deleting this from a project window. Um, now, uh, right click on the transmission line and go to edit parameters here we can uh, edit the steady state frequency uh, the line length the number of conductors and the turbine termination style okay so going to our first experiment uh, what will be the objective of our first experiment is basically <coughs> we need to have a line of 15 kilometer length with 230 kV and three conductors and uh, a power of power rating of 100 MBA and 60 Hertz okay so basically what we are going to do three conductors is there 15 kilometer length is already there 60 Hertz it is there and termination terminate termination style will be using as local connection as I mentioned we have to use a Bergeron model and local connection for the transmission line. Now, first, uh, like all these parameters are uh, uh, correctly selected over here. You can also change to other connections uh, and explore this. So, for the time being, it is correct. Then, what I am doing, I am just double clicking on the transmission line. You will be finding Bergeron model options. Let's say I am, uh, if I, let's say if I am going back and I am again finalizing create, I am bringing this line. You will be, if on a double click, you will get this type of options like frequency dependent model. Let's say you want a virtual model. You just click on select this and press delete. And then you just right click, select transmission model select virgin model you can place it over here then you can add tower cross section like i let's say i want a three conductor flat tower just click on it and place it in this way you can model the transmission line okay and <coughs> it's uh, direct and uh, very easy so i'm just deleting the transmission line because i already have my virgin model in the three conductor flat tower okay so what is mentioned in the experiment is i just have to use a source okay and then the source will be operated 230 kb 100 mba 60 hertz and that will check it's a three phase source then the transmission line will be having all these parameters that we have already done and we'll be using a three phase rms block Three phase RMS block is available in the master library, the meters, and uh, it is written as three phase RMS meter. You can get the block from there and you can connect it like this. And uh, the PSCAD for adding a bus 
you can uh, right click and add bus you will be getting a bus and the, after getting a bus you just need to double click and mention the base kb and uh, in the volume unit the voltage magnitude will be one per unit plus and uh, here i have mentioned the base kb as it's uh, 345 or you can make it as 230 uh, it is better to make it as 230 because i am working on a 230 kb system okay i just made it at 230 and you will get this uh, three phase voltage source from the la master library you just have to do what you have to do is you have to just um, go to the source control and uh, i think this will be in the default if if not you just have to put 230 kb and 60 hertz as the parameter and 100 mb okay so and uh, you know how to connect the loads like i have to get this basic register and capacitor elements and connect it so as you have done the fundamental uh, experiment in the previous previous video so you just need to connect this load to this bus 2 and uh, you know how to get these data labels and um, uh, voltmeters so that we can have the uh, plots with us so that we can see the rms plot and the both instantaneous voltage uh, signals and the rms plot signals so i'm just uh, saving and running the simulation okay here we can see uh, since I, what i have done is uh, the rms meter i have uh, made the red base kv as 230 kv so and uh, my system is at 230 kv so i'll be getting one per unit so that is what i'm getting in the rms one i'm getting one per unit over the entire simulation time and uh, the 230 kb instantaneous voltage signal is seen over here uh, rms is 230 kb and if i am scaling it with xy the same thing is uh, uh, like uh, we are observing at the receiving end also these are like sending end and receiving end voltage instantaneous voltage signals okay uh, the next part of the activity what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, the, the same network I have taken, I am just using, if you go to read parameters, I am just using the re remote end termination style. There I was using local end and here I am using remote end termination style. Okay. In case, of uh, in case you select remote ends, you will be getting uh, blocks like this. And to have the connection, what you have to do, you have to go to the components tab take a transmission line interface and uh, connect it make sure that the transmission line interface like here what i've done i've just named the transmission line interface same as the transmission line so that they will add will take two transmission line interface so that they will act two remote ends of the transmission and for the graphics display can use single line view and uh, the same name should be there as that of transmission line. You can see that uh, T line one one is my uh, transmission line name, and transmission line interface is also having the same name. Okay, if, using the single line view, you'll getting this type of graphics view. And then you can connect your bus and the source uh, in the sending end, and the load at the receiving end. And you can see the voltage waveforms. Then if I'm saving and I'll, uh, let's say I'm saving and running the simulation getting the same plots that we have observed in the previous activity okay yes you can see the same plots it's only the simulation time is different okay there it was one second and here it is 0.5 seconds so the same instantaneous voltage signal at the same sending end and receiving end voltages okay. now another thing is that uh, let's say um, that I'm double click on this transmission line. And here I'm using a frequency dependent uh, model. There I was using a Bertrand model. It's just to get acquainted you with different types of models available in the PSCAD. Um, let's say I want that uh, these are like uh, some different parameters settings are over here, like three conductor tower. This much is the length. Let's say I want to know. What is the what are the parameters uh, resistance capacitance inductance 
of my transmission line so what you have to do you just have to uh, right click on this window and select solve constants okay then it will solve for this uh, parameters and go to the output section you can see here like uh, rxp in rxp format at, at 60 hertz you can see that uh, your resistance is around 0 0.001 per unit everything is in per unit over here okay uh, susceptance reactance and these are positive sequence resistance reactance as zero sequence reactance okay you can also get some matrices you can explore all these like what do these matrices represent till now what i know is and this is the resistance value and this is the reactance value uh, which is in series uh, so i think uh, these two will be having the impedance matrix uh, these are sun sun admittance matrix all these you can uh, explore so in this way you will be getting the parameters okay so just sending the file now going to our next activity we'll be looking at what happens uh, if uh, so going to our uh, like this activity we already have already explained going to our next activity what we will be doing is we will be observing uh, we will be changing the line length to 50 km and observing what happens if i energize the line let's say at 0.5 seconds we will be looking uh, like there will be some presence of over voltage transients due to energization of the line so uh, to energize the line at 0.5 seconds i have used a three phase breaker so going to the project window here I've used a three-phase breaker, and uh, this is the um, breaker time logic. You'll be getting this from master library. What I'm doing is initial state of the breaker is open, like the line is not connected to the bus number one. At 0.5 seconds, I'm closing the breaker such that a line is connected to the bus number one. So the same network parameters have taken, and I'm not uh, using a load over here. So it's uh, and the same thing i'm looking at the plots okay i'm just uh, running the simulation okay a run is completed like you can see at the source and voltage is already present in the system throughout one second but at 0.5 second the line is energized and uh, the voltage is getting built up from at 0.5 seconds at the receiving end and if i magnify this part you can see the over voltage transients over here due to energization of the transmission line okay you can see like from 200 kV it cross it is crossing 300 kV can you imagine a over voltage of 100 kV you what type of insulation you need to sub uh, withstand this amount of over voltages so there are some methods picked up to uh, reduce the amount of over, over voltage during the line energization okay so in the emt simulation tool this is very easy to look at this uh, high frequency transients okay that's why we are using this pscad software so this is all about your activity for this uh, second experiment Thank you.